Gustafsson. I finally gave a listen to those LPs and the CD you sent me of your own saxophone playing and some Swedish modern jazz. I gotta tell you, on the cover of the CD of your sax playing, which is black and has no text on it, I wrote in large block capital letters in silver ink, torturing the saxophone. <laughs> Mats Gustafsson, I just totally fail to find anything enjoyable about this. <laughs> or to see what this has to do with music as I understand it. Or what in God's name is going on in your head <laughs> that you want to make such noises on a musical instrument. <laughs> Quite frankly, I was kind of shocked at what a negative, unpleasant experience it really was. <laughs> I had to take it off long before it reached the end. I just don't get it. I don't understand what it's about. <laughs> you actually go on tour with this stuff. <laughs> wow. People actually sit and listen to that. I mean, they voluntarily go to the place, maybe even pay, pay to hear that stuff. And then they sit there, quite politely, and they listen. Unbelievable. <laughs> I should go myself sometime and see this, witness it with my own eyes. Now, I don't say these things with the intention to insult you. <laughs> you seem to be a perfectly nice, civilized guy with a great sense of humor. <laughs> I am speaking the plain truth of my reaction to the records and CD you sent. This noise, how this noise, this very noise could give anyone any aesthetic pleasure is beyond my comprehension, truly. Is this the logical end of improvisational music? Is this where it ends up? Where does it go from this point? Is there any audience for this free jazz besides other guys who pay to go and see it, or maybe their wives who must patiently endure it. I just don't get it. Am I too unhip? Am I a square from Delaware? Ah, crumb.